Now in this video, we will discuss about the Sherrington's law of the reciprocal innovation. And according to the Sherrington's law, Mr. Sherrington says, if a muscle receives any nerve impulse from the central nervous system, the same innervation will receive by its ipsilateral antagonist to relax. Suppose if a muscle receives any nerve impulse to contract, its ipsilateral antagonist will receive the same innervation to relax. This is according to the Sherrington's law of the reciprocal innervation, right? So, we have discussed about the ipsilateral antagonist in the last video. Ipsilateral means the same eye. We are talking about the same eye, the concerned eye to the right or the left, right? And the antagonist muscles we have discussed earlier that antagonist means which move in the opposite direction of the agonist muscle, right? So, for example, we are taking example of the horizontal muscles, right? So, if this is our right eye, this is our left eye, this is left gaze and this is right gaze, right? So, if our medial rectus muscle, suppose this is medial rectus muscle, right? And this is our primary muscle, this is agonist muscle you can say right this is primary muscle so the primary muscles move in the specific direction is called agonist so the medial rectus muscle is our agonist muscles right and it moves in the lateral side it moves in the towards the nose right so if this is primary muscle then it moves in the lateral side so it's ipsilateral antagonist muscles now this is agonist and now we have to find out its ipsilateral antagonist in the same eye because we are talking about ipsilateral which means the same eye. So ipsilateral means same eye and antagonist which move in the opposite direction of this primary muscles, right? So if the medial rectus moves the eye in the medial side or towards the nose, the other muscle which is called lateral rectus which is moving opposite to the medial rectus. It keeping the eyes in the lateral side away from the nose. So both of them are ipsilateral antagonist. So according to the Sherrington's law, Mr. Sherrington says that if medial rectus is a primary muscle and it receives any nerve impulse to contract and then its ipsilateral antagonist which is lateral rectus which which got the same nerve impulse to relax so this is called the sherrington's law of the reciprocal innervation and now let's discuss about the vertical examples of these extraocular muscles now in vertical muscles as you know that the superior oblique muscles the function of the superior oblique muscles is to keep the eye to move the eye in the depression in the lower gaze. Now we have to find, so this is the superior oblique is our primary muscles for example, right? So if the superior oblique moves the eye to push the eyeball in the depression in the lower gaze, now we have to find out its ipsilateral antagonist. Ipsilateral means in the same eye. We have to find the muscles in the same eye and antagonist mean the muscles which move in the opposite direction of the superior oblique. So, what would be the answer? Which moves the eye in the upper gaze, right? And that would be inferior, inferior oblique muscles. So, if the superior oblique muscles is the primary muscles and it receives innervation from the brain to contract, so its ipsilateral, ipsilateral antagonist, which is called the inferior oblique of the same eye, will get the same innervation to relax. So this is called the Sherrington's law of the reciprocal innervation.